It's an amazing specimen. You can actually see the uh, the embryos inside the body chamber. One here, one here, one here, and this one has just popped out. So pregnant, pregnant ichthyosaur. Incredible. Aye, aye. Some copper lights. Uh, baby ichthyosaur. Some lovely pterosaurs. Look at this one. Here's an unprepared one. You can just see the just see the skull underneath there. There's a snout coming up. And the rest of the skeleton's underneath this bump. Some more crocodiles. Favorite, favorite fossils in the museum. Yeah. This little baby Plagiosaurus crocodile. Look how delicate that is. Look at that. This one's a mean looking one. Find similar to, similar ones to these in the, on the Yorkshire Coast sometimes. Some in the Yorkshire Museum. Here's some of the uh, the fish that you can find. Some nice dipediums. Lovely. Lepidotes. These are some sharks. Look at this. It's even got some copper light in its in its stomach. It's 
more fish. Here's some of the belly nights you find. Here's, here's one with all the little tiny hooklets. Still intact. Look at this one. Some more. These are cuttlefish. Well, vampire scroots. Look at this one. The tentacles still there. These are my favourite here, the uh, crustaceans. That one. Here's some of the uh, yam mites. on it from the uh, oysters in there. Oh, this one. This one's got a dipedium inside the body chamber. You see that? So that one. <laughs> and that one. See the fish there? Look. That would have been inside the body chamber. Here's some plants that you find. Some small crinoids. This is really what Hawks Smiley is famous for. Here's these crinoids. And here's one that they've prepared. The size of this one. It's a piece of wood in the middle, and the crinoids coming off of it. This specimen took 18 years to prepare. This is one of my favourite exhibits. It's actually showing you an old-fashioned preparation lab, uh, how they used to do it in the 1800s. Turn you around and uh, I'll show you some of the exhibits there. Got the stone wheel, got the hammers. You can see they set it up so that they're preparing the sixty. So here's the uh, the old-fashioned way of doing it with the hammers and chisels. No pneumatic tools back then. Here's the, uh, the pitch for uh, making the glue. Here's a sled to, to, to uh, bring it around. And it was all done under, usually under, under candlelight, not under a modern angle poised lamp, uh, but under candlelight and hammer and chisel and painstaking work to see some of the fossils you see in the museum. Reenactment of them uh, actually finding one of the uh, ichthyosaur specimens. You see the uh, ichthyosaur laid out. They're putting the chisels in to lift the lift the plate. 
again, old fashioned tools. Here's what one of the old fashioned uh, museums would have looked like with hickthy saws stacked up against the wall and, and uh, some laid out. Obviously, these would have been had specimens inside. We can see some of the specimens in there, all mounted up in old fashioned frames. The workbench sat so added to find the fossils. So now they are specimens just up against the wall there, waiting to be uh, exhibit. This is a representation of the different layers you find in the soul muffin. We'll have a look at this in a little while. We'll walk up the other side. This is one of my favourite specimens. This is a condostrous fish. But inside its belly, it's got all these belemites in its belly, all eaten. Absolutely superb specimen. A shark. It's eaten all these belemites. Thank you to the Hoff Museum today for letting me film. Saw some incredible things today. And we're now off to the Fossilenbos uh, and we're going to set up for the next two days.